Okay, so I've tried to film this video a couple different times uh, and each time I just talked way too much and it was way too long and I didn't want to edit it. So this is my shortened version of uh, my gear list, what I'm taking with me to hike the Appalachian Trail in just a couple weeks. Oh, and all of the links and the weights for all of this stuff are in the description below in the lighter packs link if you're interested in all of that stuff. So the first thing I want to talk about is my pack. As you can see, I have the ULA Catalyst. Um, originally, I had the Osprey Asia 58 liter, but while that pack did fit everything lovely, it was not as comfortable after uh, using it for a while. The shoulder straps are a little thin, and I think with the lovely trampoline back that that pack has, it just carries the weight too far away from your back, uh, for me personally anyway. So it was causing me a lot of pain and discomfort, so I ended up going with the ULA Catalyst because this is the pack I originally wanted when doing all of my research, but uh, I ended up getting the Osprey pack on sale through REI. And I figured I could take use of their very generous return policy and return it uh, if I needed to. And uh, I ended up doing that to get this pack. One thing I really love about this pack is the size of the hip belt pockets. My Osprey pack, the hip belt pockets are really small and didn't even fit my phone in them. And like I couldn't zip it. But with these, I can fit my phone, I can fit a ton of snacks, uh, the shape is overall better than on the Osprey pack, so I'm really happy with these so far. On the shoulder straps of my pack, I have a shoulder pouch from uh, Chicken Tramper Ultralight Gear, and I love this. Uh, I've been using this on like my day hikes with my other pack uh, when I was taking it out on walks and stuff. And it fits like all of my essentials in it. It fits my headphones, my headlamp, uh, it fits my phone when I'm on day hikes, like it fits my wallet, my keys and stuff. Um, I absolutely love it. I ended up going with the seam sealed version so that it was um, waterproof as well. Or water resistant. I don't know if it's waterproof necessarily, but to help keep out as much moisture as I could. <clears throat> I also have half of this uh, pack towel, the personal size. Uh, this is going to be for, you know, sweats, not wiping my face, whatever. Next, I'll talk about my sleep system. As you can see, I have two sleeping pads. That one in the back uh, folded up is the Nemo Switchback in the short. And this one here, this red one, is a self-inflating uh, sleeping pad from Thermarest. It's the ProLite Plus. Ooh, focus there, camera in the women's version so it's a little shorter and a little warmer i'm starting with both of these with the hope that i can get rid of this bottom one um but i sleep is really important to me on trail uh, sleep is important for everybody's recovery but i personally if i don't sleep well i am a mess so i wanted to make sure i could sleep well on trail so i have both of these sleeping pads and i'm hoping to just get away with um the nemo switchback in the end but i wanted to start with both because i think uh i'm pretty sure i'm gonna keep both the entire time here in this garbage bag which is also my pack liner is my sleeping quilt um i went with the hammock gear economy uh quilt in the 20 degree uh temperature and i got three ounces of overfill in it um i don't know why i did that that was recommended to me i'm not sure if it was a good choice or not um we'll see i have used this quilt oh and i got it in the short and wide version because that's what works uh for me and i did get the foot box that was not sewn so it does open up to be a full quilt I have used this car camping um, in October of last year, and it was incredible. It kept both me and my partner super warm, and I absolutely loved it. I'm a little worried about in the summer months, it's going to be too hot, which most of my hike is through the summer months. So I might end up sending this home for the majority and using just like a cheap fleece blanket or something. I chose not to start with a actual pillow um, for my sleep system because I've used both my um, rain jacket folded up, which I'll show my rain gear folded up, which I'll show you when we get to rain gear, 
um, and my like clothing sack as a pillow, um, depending on if I'm on my back or my side. And so far those have actually worked really well for me. But I, um, if I decide I need a pillow while I'm not on trail, I will purchase one. For my tent, I went with uh, the Durston X-Mid two-person tent. I went with a two-person because I wanted more space in my tent. I do plan on spending the majority of nights in my tent. I am doing this through hike on a budget. So I wanted to be as econ uh, economical as possible. And I thought that getting a two-person tent would help me want to spend more time in it. Um, and want me to sp and want to spend like less night in hostels and things like that. Um, I have not used this tent. I have set it up once. Um, and it was a breeze to set up. I am used to car camping with like a freestanding large car camping tent. I've never set up a trekking pole tent before, but this was absolutely like the easiest tent to set up. It took me maybe six minutes once I got everything, um, in the right place. Cause it was the first setup of this tent. Um, I did go with the ground sheet specific for this tent because of the weird shape of the bottom. I just, I, I wanted to put less stress on myself. I thought it would be easier, even though it would probably be lighter to do a sheet of Tyvek. I wanted to just go with the ground sheet, and I'm actually really happy I made that decision because it attaches to the whole tent system. So it's just one, the inner shell, the outer shell, and the ground sheet is just like one seamless system, and it sets up beautifully. Maybe I will take a video of that um, out on trial sometime. Inside here, I have actually the other half of this chamois uh, to wipe off any moisture from the tent. So I'm not putting away a wet tent to save on weight and to help preserve the tent. Okay, camera, come on. There we go. Um, the tent stakes for this tent are also in here, the eight that it comes with. Next, we'll talk about my camp kitchen. So, obviously, I went with the Bear Vault. This is the BV500, the largest size. I went with the Bear Vault in general because I want to be as eco-friendly as possible. And for me, I thought this was the best way to do that. I don't have any experience with bear hangs. And I am short. And I've read a lot about how it's kind of hard to do them well. And if you don't do them well, um, what's the point, I guess? I also am not going to be one of those people who sleeps with my food. I am out there in uh, the bear's home, and I want to respect that as much as possible. It's not my home. It's theirs. And the ATC and many other nature and wildlife organizations recommend these in their camps, uh, in their territories, sorry. So that's what they recommend, and uh, they know better than me. Who am I to say they don't? On top here, I have got my um, stove, my stove, my pot. This is a Tokes Titanium 900 milliliter pot. I will be cooking in this, well, rehydrating in this, so I wanted to make sure it was large enough to do that. Inside, I have the other half of that pack towel, which will serve as my kitchen towel. I also have stored in here right now um, my Sawyer Squeeze. This is what's going to serve as my water filtration on trail. Uh, as long with um, two smart water bottles and I am going to take the bags that the Sawyer Squeeze comes with out until they break. I hear they break but I'm going to use them until they break because I have them already and uh, if I find that I've been using them I'll replace them with like a Sinoc or Canoc however you pronounce it bladder. <clears throat> Also inside here, I have a little bottle of hot sauce. I This is the best hot sauce ever. Excuse my cats playing in the background. Um, I absolutely love this. And some my, one of my partner's uh, co-workers, I think, sent this to her. So she gave it to me to use on trail. The last thing in here is my stove. I went with the BRS like T3000. It was cheap, it has great reviews, and um, I haven't used it yet, so I can't really review it myself, but I've heard great things. The other part of my camp kitchen is my spoon. I went, let's see if we can see it. It's in the bear vault, and I don't feel like getting it out right now, but it's the Tokes Titanium Long Handled Spoon with the polished bowl. Let's talk about clothing next. Um, a lot of these items are from Patagonia, specifically their Warnware site. 
I really love the Patagonia company. You can look more up about Patagonia and their company principles and everything. Um, if you are interested in that, I'm not going to go into it here, but I like the company and I love the fact that, um, they have a whole site dedicated to reselling used, their gently used items. Um, I don't know exactly how they get the items. I think you send them back to them and then they give you money to spend and they refix up the item, make it basically like new and they sell it for about 50% or less of the original price of the item. And it's fabulous. I All of the pieces I've gotten from them have been uh, wonderful. No issues at all. So without further ado, I guess, let's get started. This is the Patagonia Trail Tank. Uh, I have not actually worn this yet because I've just been saving all of these clothes for trail. But um, I'm confident that it will work just fine for me. This is the Patagonia Capelin Cool Daily Hoodie. I, hi Bubba, this is my cat Bubby, um, this will become, this is my sleep shirt to start off, and this will become my hiking shirt once it gets colder near the end of my hike. I went with the Patagonia Barely There bra, great bra, super comfortable, uh, it's supportive enough for me, and it really does feel like I'm wearing nothing, which you bra wearing people know is what you want out of a bra. Next is all my underwear. I went with the Ex Officio underwear and I did three pairs of those. Over here, we've got my socks. As you can see, I went with um, in Jinji trail uh, socks. I wear in Jinji socks in my daily life. I'm a huge barefoot, unshoed, minimalist advocate. All of those things really. Um, they're all a little bit different. Again, not going to go into that. If you're interested, you can do some research on barefoot shoes and practices and stuff like that. Um, I did go with these over the darn tough because not only am I allergic to wool, but I really like the uh, added blister protection that the toe socks provide me. Not to mention that, again, I wear them anyway in my daily life, so it just makes sense. For my hiking pants, I went with the Patagonia Barely There barely there. I'm sorry. The Patagonia um, trail baggies in the five inch length. These are a pair of Lululemon um, leggings. I got these on super sale and uh, the fabric is super comfortable. It's super soft. It's supposed to be moisture wicking. It has a little drawstring in it, which I find really important on leggings. These are my sleep pants to start off and then they'll become my hiking leggings once it gets colder. This is my puffy, all balled up. I use this regularly. I've had this coat for a long time, and I use this, so <laughs> it still has my keys in it. Um, this is the Patagonia Nano Puff hoodie. Um, I love this. I've used this in marathon training, and it kept me, like, super warm. So I think this will be a great addition on trail. This is, like, my favorite clothing item ever. This is the Appalachian Gear Company uh, alpaca fleece hoodie. I am allergic to wool, like I said, but, um, alpaca fleece doesn't have lanolin in it, which is the part of the wool I'm allergic to. So this, it works great for me. <sighs> I, I, it's super breathable. It is super warm at the same time. And I've absolutely loved this for the several months that I've had it now. This is my buff. It's just an outdoor research buff that I got on sale at REI. Not pictured in the clothes there was my shoes, my um, hiking shoes. I'm wearing Ultra Lone Peak. I think they're sixes. I can't remember. Um, I got them on sale a while back. I bought a couple pairs. I absolutely love those shoes. I wear them for marathon training. I know they work for me, so I'm super excited to get to use them on trail. The next thing I'll talk about is my toiletries, which I have laid out here. Here is the half of that shimmy you saw earlier. This will be kind of like just my personal towel. Um, these are fabulous. I was a diver in high school and they hold so much water. I just plan on using this anytime I need uh, like a body towel to dry off because I had it mostly. 
I've got a couple alcohol wipes for some first aid or anything that I should need it for. If you stick a body glide, uh, chafing is a real concern of mine from past experience. I've got my little bottle of Dr. Bronner's. I have a pill bottle filled with some Imodium, some Advil, some ibuprofen, or I'm sorry, some Tylenol, some ibuprofen, and wrapped with Leucoc tape. This is my tick mirror. I haven't peeled the safety or the um, protection sticker off of it yet just because I've been, I haven't needed to use it yet. I have my tick key right there next to it and some nail clippers, earplugs, a little bottle, a little tube of bacitracin, toothpaste, toothbrush, um, more tenacious tape for gear repairs and floss. Oh, as well, thank you, Bubby. Um, a cork rolling ball to roll out my muscles. Over here, we've got my uh, potty kit. So I ended up going with the Kulo, the Kulo, the Kula cloth potty kit because it had pretty much everything in it that I wanted to purchase for myself already. Um, plus this pea style, which I'm really excited to try because I've always wanted to try something like this and just haven't, I saw it came in the kit. I, that kind of sold it for me. Um, this is just the Kula cloth, which actually it comes with this little, um, pull and I will hang this on the outside of my pack once I actually start hiking. It also came with this little bottle to put soap in so I put some Dr. Bronner's in here so that I have soap in my peak kit and soap in my toiletries just in case. I get, not just in case I know I'll use them both but so I don't have to if I forget my soap I have it in both places that I'll need it and then my the, my potty kit will be more accessible to me during the day than the rest of my toiletries. Next, we have the Bogger, Bogler Co. trowel, which I'm excited about. I've heard great things about it because of this plastic cap on the end. Um, people say it's a lot more comfortable than, than the Deuce, which is a popular backpacking trowel. Sitting here is the Kulo Clean. This is a trail bidet, and it goes right into the end of a smart water bottle. I do plan on carrying a separate smart water bottle for this purpose, um, at least until I get the hang of it or decide that it's unnecessary, but something about using the same water bottle for cleaning your butt and drinking just seems, <laughs> seems a little wrong. Uh, what Bubby is laying and playing on over here, um, this is my C2 Summit uh, mosquito head net. I think this will be very useful for my hike in the northeast like I said most of my hike is in the summer so and I know the bugs are a huge problem so I think if I can at least keep them off of my face I'll be a little more sane than if I was not able to do that and underneath that are my tr uh, camp shoes I went with the zero uh, I think these are the z trail sandals like I said I'm a big barefoot minimalist uh unshoed shoe advocate so uh, this is kind of like a natural choice for me for my camp shoe. I also hope to do a lot of hiking in these. I prefer to hike in sandals, actually, especially with a thin sole. The ultra shoes, the ultra long peaks have a pretty thick sole, relatively, and um, I prefer to be able to feel more of the ground. All right, we're on to the last section of stuff. Um, these are my Black Diamond Ego Cork uh, trekking poles. I've used these quite a bit in the last couple months and so far I've loved them. I did take the straps off because I tend to go back and forth between using and not using hiking poles like pretty frequently while I'm hiking and I found the straps to be just too cumbersome. Here is my uh, neck knife. This is just a neck knife from NTK Knives. It is super sharp and uh, I love it. I've not, I've used it camping a couple times for just, you know, things you need a knife for and so far so good. This is my electronics and it's sack. Uh, this is my headlamp. It's a Nightcore NU25 headlamp so it's got the red and the white and it's worked great for me so far. Um, I actually keep this in my chicken tramper ultralight gear shoulder pouch on my uh, shoulder strap in my backpack. This is my Garmin InReach Mini 2, which I'll also keep on the outside of my backpack once I start hiking. Satellite communicator, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. This is my bag of cords. This is my wall adapter with an, a little extra adapter for my phone cord. And then this is my battery pack. It's an Anchor 20,000 milliamp 
or whatever, however battery packs are measured. It's a 20,000. Um, I'm taking quite a few electronics out with me. What isn't pictured here is actually the watch you've been seeing in uh, the frame. This is a Garmin Phoenix 6 Solar. I absolutely love this watch. Um, I have had it for quite a while now. I used it in marathon training and uh, for my triathlon this past year. And I absolutely love it. I am a data junkie and I just love uh, looking at my own health data. So I definitely plan to still use that on trail. Along with my own Garmin watch, I am participating in a research study about through hikers and their nutrition. And part of that research study is wearing a Garmin and tracking all of your data. So I'll be wearing that watch and tracking with that one for the study as well. I'm taking my own because I want continuity in my own data. And at this point, I'm not sure exactly how that works because I do have my own Garmin account uh, and use it like frequently for myself. So once I figure out um, if I could use one watch and have the data both for the study and for myself on my account, I'll probably just, I'll switch to one. That's my, my hope is that I can just use one watch, but I am taking two because I want the data and it's really, the weight is not, not enough for me to care about. My base weight is just like a hair over 20 pounds, I think, which I think is pretty good based on a lot of the choices I made for my own comfort, like the two sleeping pads and the bear, the bear vault. Those two things alone um, are over three pounds, so it is what it is. Um, I do have a bear bag should I decide that the bear vault is unnecessary for me to be a good trail human. Um, but quite honestly, I think that I'm just going to end up carrying the bear vault the whole time because of the convenience. A few things I forgot to put out here. Um, one being my ball cap and sunglasses. I'm take, I haven't decided if I'm taking just one of those things or both of them. Um, but I will have one or both of those. And the other thing, what was it? Oh, my headphones. Uh, I do plan on taking headphones. I'm really into audiobooks at the moment, and I'm going to need something else to uh, listen to other than my own inner monologue. So I'm just taking the regular corded iPhone headphones. I didn't want to add anything else to my charging um, than I needed to. And the last thing I forgot isn't out here yet is some of my other first aid items. Like I'm going to have some gauze and some medical tape uh, to deal with any cuts and stuff because I tend to cut myself a lot. So I think that for me it's worth taking as well as a lighter. I haven't gotten a lighter or a backup lighter yet, but both of those things, um, all of those things I just mentioned will be in my backpacking kit as well. If you've made it this far, oh, hi Bean. Hi. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you stick around to see how my trail adventure goes. Like I said, all of the uh, links for everything, if you're interested in checking out the links, I whatever, um, and the weights of everything are listed in the Lighter Packs link down below.